Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the clock watchdog timeout blue screen error that you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So typically there's an issue with your computer communicating with your CPU properly, and in which case it could be a hardware related problem that is not going to be covered in today's tutorial. It may require the replacement of your CPU. However, if it's a software-related problem in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. And you want to type in Verifier, Best Match, or come back with Verifier. Go ahead and open that up. Select Yes if you receive a user account control prompt. Select Create Standard Settings, and then select Next. And then underneath select what drivers to verify, select the select driver names from a list, and then select next. Give that a moment. And then you want to sort by providers, so just go ahead and click the top drop down top column to sort by ascending order so we can see unknown drivers listed in here. You want to select the ones that are not the Microsoft or even Intel drivers, so basically any random drivers in here that don't really look like they belong in here. Now you want to select Finish, select OK. Now you want to go ahead and restart your computer. Now you want to go back into the search menu, search for verifier again, and go ahead and run that. Select yes, and then display information about the current verified drivers, and then select next. Select the folder you're monitoring at the time, or the one you're looking at, and then select next. If you see anything underneath fault injected in a value field in here, it should be zero if everything's working properly. If it says something other than zero, that means that is a driver that is having the issue on your computer. So you can just go through each one of these here and just check them out, see if there's anything in there particularly that you are noticing. So that's basically it, and you can remove them down the road. And this way you can actually verify and see which driver is the one that's problematic in here. And you can turn the other ones back on, the ones that were not the problem, by going back. And you can go ahead and actually go with the create standard settings and then go through the prompts of turning back on the drivers that were not the problematic ones. Go on Google, try and find information about the driver you're having the problem with. You may want to uninstall it through Device Manager. So that's something else you want to take a look at there. And once everything is resolved and everything's good, you've removed the problematic driver, you just want to go back to default basically. You can go back into Verifier here and go back into Yes. You can select the delete existing settings and then select finish and then yes. So that would just set everything back to default and you can restart your computer for the changes to take effect. But again, that would be after you've already resolved the issue on your end. So that's just something I would do once you're done with troubleshooting. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.